Hello everyone, I'm Mikor and it's time for another LEGO haul video. So let's start by opening this first package. This one is from Bricklink and it's the only uh, package with just bricks. Uh, all the other stuff that I got are uh, sets. And in this package I got a bunch of these uh, 2x2 uh, tiles in a dark tan color, a bunch of 2x2 two two bricks in a dark purple color. I also got 1x3 bricks in the light blue color. 1x2 bricks in light blue color. 1x4 bricks in this other blue color. I got 5 of these transparent pieces. Here I got two of these pieces in transparent orange and transparent purple or pink. Here I got some other pieces. Two bricks in a dark blue color this motorcycle uh, piece and five of these pieces in the dark tan color and I also got these pieces in orange color these one by one uh, slopes and I also have ordered a bunch of different sticker sheets. So this is the first sticker sheet. I got 10 of these sticker sheets. This is from a, a new Guardians of the Galaxy set. These were really cheap and I really like this sticker. It will fit perfectly in my Lego city. This is a sticker sheet from uh, Lego Horizon Forbidden West. I got a bunch of sticker sheets from uh, Ninjago. Some sticker sheets from Lego City. This is from a, a Lego store set. I think this was the most expensive sticker sheet. Some more from Lego City. And more sticker sheets from Lego Ninjago. And this one is from a Lego Batman set. And now let me show you the sets that I got. This first set is Space Police Central from Lego Space Police. Set number 5985. This set was released in 2010, so it's 13 years old now. And I wanted to get this set for a very long time, but it was always too expensive for me to buy. And I finally decided to get it. And I'm glad that I bought it, because after I bought it, uh, the price of this set went up again and yeah I'm glad I, I got it I'm gonna feel probably really bad when I open this set but yeah I just I wanted to get this set for many many years and I finally have it so yeah and the next set is also from LEGO Space Police. This is Squidman's Pit Stop, set number 5980. Uh, 
as you can see here it's a limited edition set and yeah this is another set that I really wanted for a very long time and now I finally have all the aliens from the Lego Space Police 3 theme uh, the only alien that I was missing was Squidman and now I finally have him and yeah now let me show you the other sets that I got oh and this set is from 2009 so it's 14 years old now and the next set is from Lego Galaxy Squad theme this set is called Hive Crawler, set number 70708. This is again another set that I really wanted for many years and I'm glad I finally got it. Uh, this set is from 2013 I think and luckily it wasn't as expensive as the sets from LEGO Space Police theme. I'm guessing probably because this theme wasn't as popular as the Space Police theme, but yeah, it's uh, I really like this build uh, of this bug. I think it looks really, really cool. And yeah, I'm very glad I finally got it. And the next set is also from LEGO Galaxy Squad theme. This set is called Star Slicer, set number 70703. I wasn't planning on getting this set, but I really wanted to get this minifigure. And this minifigure alone in a new condition is worth like at least half of the value of this set. So instead of paying uh, and buying just the just this Ellie and the minifigure, I decided to get this set. And the next set is Warp Stinger. This one is also from Lego Galaxy Squad, set number 70702. This is another set with a really cool Alien minifigure that I wanted to have. And yeah, I pretty much got it for the minifigure. But this set also does have a lot of really cool pieces like these wings and this uh, piece uh, that can hold a minifigure. And I also got some newer sets. This one is Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising Lloyd and Orange Ninja Team Max, set number 71794. I got this set pretty much just for the minifigures. It does have some cool pieces but yeah, I mostly got it because I want to have all the minifigures from this uh, wave. So yeah, that's pretty much why I got it. And from LEGO Ninjago I also got Nia's Dragon Power Drift, set number 71778. This is just a small set with this cool Nia minifigure. And from LEGO Eternals I got set 76156 Rise of the Domo. I got this set because even though it was released two years ago and is now retired, this set is still really cheap and it has some cool pieces like these transparent pieces with like glitter or something and there are also these round pieces with these cool stickers. So yeah, I got this set pretty much only because it was really cheap and also because it has a bunch of cool pieces. And if you wanna get it, you can still find it for a very cheap price. So yeah, it's just a good set to buy to get a, a lot of pieces for a cheap price. And the last two sets that I got are from LEGO Video. This is the Punk Pirate Beatbox set number 43103 and this is the Party Llama Beatbox set number 43105. I got these sets because I really like the tiles that are included in these sets. I can use a lot of 
uh, these tiles in my Lego city and these sets even though they are retired they are still very very cheap so if you want to get them you can still find them for a very cheap price and yeah that's everything for this video thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like the video subscribe and tell me in the comments what do you think and if you want to see reviews of the Space Police and Galaxy Squad sets, please let me know in the comments and I will do reviews of those sets. Bye!